can't tell if that fan sarcastically cheered for the referee or referred to Sammy Guevara as a freak. You decide, but I would count either one as a sin, so it's a lose-lose situation. Jesus. Considering Russell Brand resembles Jesus in terms of looks, I ain't surprised that Infant Sorrow created a song titled I Am Jesus. Yes. I would look at the sign as Sammy requested, but unfortunately it's too dark to even see what it was. Oh, it said Sammy section. Well, my mistake. Though the sin still stands because Sammy should have waited until the lights came on so the camera guy could get a good shot at the earlier sign. Cody Rhodes, I'm so happy I'm not covered in gold paint anymore, face. It takes literally 45 seconds just to introduce one wrestler. We're reaching UFC levels of long ass ring introductions. I get that the fans are excited. I would be too. But we can't even hear what the referee is saying. Would it kill the fans to tone it down for just 10 seconds? Or just have the referee speak to the wrestlers without the usage of the microphone? Title theft. About 35 seconds or so before the first lockup actually happens. Oh yeah, this match is a one hour time limit. Let's do everything in our power to make sure we get to that limit. Cody's high pitch, what the hell? Also, am I the only one who finds it weird that Cody went straight to the referee after Sammy flipped him off? Like a kid who goes to their parents when their sibling flips them off? Also, also, does Cody seriously expect Sammy to get disqualified or reprimanded for that or something? It's just a rude gesture, not a low blow. <sighs> Anytime you want to have a good match instead of taunting dick measuring contests, I'll be here waiting. Wait a minute, what? Sammy flips off Cody and gets little to no reaction to it. But when Cody flips off Sammy, that's enough to qualify as a holy shit moment. Getting a holy shit chance seems to be too easy work these days. If I were the cameraman, I would have just gone to a different side of the ring where the referee is not always blocking my shot. This is wrestling. The fans are now chanting this is wrestling for a freaking handshake. A handshake. Let that sink in, folks. <laughs> Jesus, not only was Sammy able to deliver an epic corkscrew moonsault to Cody, but also landed perfectly on his feet on the concrete floor. Goes to show how great of a talent Sammy Guevara really is. Hey! Ow, my hands! <laughs> For an obvious one count, one fan was delusional enough to think that it was a three count. Are we sure that's not Kevin Owens in disguise? <laughs> that move was both hilarious and creative on the part of Sammy Guevara. What was that, a reversal of Rob Van Dam's Rolling Thunder? <laughs> Jeez, fast count much? <laughs> Cody Rhodes is addicted to Sammy's Guevara's. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I held my breath watching that moment. Could have sworn Cody and Sammy were gonna mess that up, but it was delivered very well, removing another sin. <laughs> Sammy reacted a little too late from Cody's punch. <laughs> Who are you, Randy Orton? Kinda understandable considering Cody spent many years with Randy Orton as part of the legacy. <laughs> While yes, Sammy countered the disaster kick, Cody was never going to hit him anyway since Sammy was too far away. If Sammy never countered with a super kick, Cody would have hit nothing but air. Die! 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 Probably shouldn't have said that. 